Welcome to your seven minute crash course on how to use Music Stand. And remember, if you find this content useful, please give me a thumbs up. If you have not downloaded Music Stand yet, go to your app store and type in Planning Center Music Stand. You can also grab the services app that's to the left of this while you're there. So you'll start by clicking on Music Stand and it is gonna bring it up where you left off. Um, and of course I left off in the middle of services. So let's start there. So when you get in, you'll see the title is in blue and then the key is right next to it. So when we all get to heaven is in the key of G, Sweet Beulah Land is in the key of F, Hymn of Heaven A, and then Holy, Holy, Holy starts in A and modulates to C. So you'll get in this app. You can use this on your phone or iPad, tablet. Um, just click on the blue title. We'll start with um, when we all get to heaven. When you first come in, you will not see any notes. You have to click on modifications so you can, uh, you can load your own notes, um, to make notes on something, you would go to the pencil that's at the top right of the screen and click on that. And you can use an Apple pencil. You can use your finger if you don't have, you know, a pen with a iPad tip on it. But here is how to load your music director's notes. So at the very top of the screen, you'll see the little carrot right beside where it says key of G. Click on that. And you want to go to annotator. So if the annotator says me, that would be you. So whatever notes you have are there. If you click on that, you can also go to anybody else listed here that has made notes. So if your music director has made notes, their name would be here. Click on their name and then click done. And this shows what notes that they have made. Maybe you play the piano and you need the piano chart. Let me show you how to get into that. So we'll go to Beulah Land. So we just click on it. This is the chord chart. You tap the screen one time, the menu pops down. So you'll go up where it says the Sweet Beulah Land dash F, click that little carrot. And so where it says file, just click on that. And then you can switch your files there. So you wanna click done. If you wanna get your music director's notes, again, just click the carrot and go to your annotator and click on that. There are no notes on that, so we'll skip that for now. Okay, so let's scroll down. You can see the rest of the service here. Um, to listen to a track, we'll click on Hymn of Heaven. These notes have already been loaded, so once you know you load your music director's notes, it will save them. Now, if you've already made notes, and then you load your music director's notes, you can actually merge those so that your notes are not lost, or you can make notes on top of your music director's notes, and it will not mess their notes up at all. It's just your personal notes merged with theirs. If you wanted to listen to Hymn of Heaven here, you'll click, you'll tap the screen once, so. It may appear like this, tap it once. You have the blue drop down. Actually, let's go to the play button that's right beside the little carrot near the title at the very top of the screen. So let's click on the play button. So at the bottom, we're gonna hit the One. bottom carrot that's right next to FX. Now, um, this will give you your entire playlist. If you'd like to download it, you'll go to the little arrow at the top right next to where it says Choir Sunday over to the top right of the screen and you can download all the tracks so it will play in a list. So if you scroll down to Hymn of Heaven, all of these tracks are loaded from um, a program called Multitracks. If you don't have access to this, let your music director know. It may pop up and say that you do not have permission. This is something they have to manually enter your email address for you to hear. Here's what it sounds like. So let's say you play the piano. Um, there's a lot of different options here. I'm gonna hit keys one. This is what you will hear. One. Two. Intro. Two. So that is a metronome three, going. Four. I hit pause. So you got the metronome going. Um, if you play an instrument, it's very important to play along with this track with the metronome. All of the other instrumentalists will be playing along with the metronome in the track. So when you come together, everybody's not playing on their own tempo, but rather they have practiced with the metronome. So they're all in the same time. Here where it says Hymn of Heaven, Key of A, Hymn of Heaven, Original Key of E, you want to know what key you're in. You can see at the very top, it's kind of faded out. It says Hymn of Heaven dash A. We're doing this in the key of A. So if you want just the track with everybody mixed in together, click that. And then you'll be able to hear the track there. All right, to get out of this menu, you want to click the little carrot going down, which is the top right of the screen. We'll hit back and then the little hamburger at the top left of the screen. Let's click on that. Here is your schedule. If you've confirmed, you do your confirmations in the Planning Center Services app. So if you've confirmed, you'll see the little check mark with the green circle. If you haven't, it'll be um, orange. And then if you've declined, of course, it will be red. 
So these are my upcoming services. I can click on any of these and see what we have going on here. Um, if you want to go to a specific service, you can click Wednesday night and then just click on whatever you have here. Let's say you wanted to hear us or work on a song that was maybe last Wednesday. It only goes to for the current week and forward, but you can go into the most current week and at the top left, you can scroll backwards or you can go forwards with the little left and right arrows. Okay, let's go back. Um, at the top where it says plans, click over to songs and then you will see a list that if you have access, which if you're on this app, you should, um, you should be able to pick up any song that is in your church's playlist. You can click on it here and you'll be able to go through it and play it. So what you'll see, you'll click on the song. Um, normally you'll go on the default arrangement or maybe there was a person's name here. This would be like a Charity Gale song to so click on it. And then you can click on whichever chart your director tells you. Normally there's probably clues in there. If not, you can text and ask um, for this one the correct chart says correct chart so that's pretty easy and when you load this it will automatically load it again for the next time so I say I click on correct chart the next time I open up music stand this is what's gonna be in for me so if I've loaded the notes which there are not notes on this one because it was modified outside of of this program you'll be able to see that so you don't have to every single time go in and pick the right chart this was the previous chart that we used that had all of the notes on it so then when I go to play Sunday this is gonna be this is going to be in. So I think that's it for this. If you have any questions, contact your music director or me. I'm happy to help and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.